we wrote code together in the past that converts the square root ratio x96 in a pool's slot 0 into the price ratio between two tokens in the pool. So this right here is the contract for Uniswap over wrapped Ether. And this number here, this square root price x96, actually means the same thing as the ratio between these two numbers, Uniswap token and wrapped Ether in the Uniswap app. Now, previously we did that conversion with functions, but I want to explain now with some simple napkin math why the square root ratio x96 is the same as this ratio here in the Uniswap app. By the time we're done today, this square root ratio x96 on a pool won't just be a big random number anymore. Now there's a few things you need to understand about the square root price x96. Its data type on the pool contract is an unsigned integer 160. That means it holds 160 bits of information. But the number itself is intended to be a binary fixed point number. And in the pool contract's case, that's Q64.96. What does that mean? That means 64 bits of the 160 bits are allocated to the left side of the decimal place in the binary number. So that's the integer portion. And 96 bits of information are allocated to storing the decimal portion to the right side of the decimal place. So in binary form, without any values in it, it would look like this. The decimal is right here, and there are 64 digits on the left side and 96 digits on the right side for storing ones and zeros. This is binary after all. Now that number we saw in slot zero, the 5227310, etc. This is a slightly different number now because I made this a couple days ago, but that 52273, etc. number, that number is in base 10. That's how humans count, where we add a digit to the left side of the number for every 10 increments and convert it into base 2, how computers store numbers, where we add a digit to the left after every 2 increments. So this number in base 10, that square root price x96, is this number when converted to base 2. And it's really easy to do that conversion. Wrap parentheses around that square root price x96 number, call to string on it, and pass in 2. And that will convert it from base 10 to base 2. I just wanted to explain that this square root ratio x96 value actually represents a binary value of the format q64.96. That's important. This is a number that represents the ratio between the two tokens in the swap pool. Now we just need to convert it to a human readable ratio. The first step is to multiply it by itself. The square root ratio x96 multiplied by the same square root ratio x96 gives us the ratio x192 because a square root multiplied by itself gives us the actual number rather than the square root. And it's x192 because 96 plus 96 equals 192. That is now the length after multiplying two x96 values by each other. I've changed the notation here, but this is still square root ratio x96 multiplied by itself. I'm just saying to the power 2 here, which means the same thing. And that is a ratio x192 as we discussed. So we want to divide it by 2 to the power of 192. We have x192 on the top, so we want to divide it by 2 to the power of 192 on the bottom. Why? Because in binary, which is base 2, we divide by 2 to remove one digit from the integer part of the number, or more specifically, shift it one place to the right. It's like how in base 10, we divide by 10 to shift the integer portion of a number one digit to the right. And that gives us our human readable price ratio. Let's see it with example values from the pool. 
So we take our square root ratio, x96 value, and we multiply it by itself. So 5, 2, 2, 7, 3, etc. multiply by itself, or to the power of 2. And then we divide it by 2 to the power of 192, and that will give us this number, 0 0.004353, etc. And that is actually the ratio between the Uniswap token and wrapped Ether in the Uniswap app. If we jump over to the app now, remember this number, 0 0.004353, and we have 0 0.00446. It's slightly different now because I created the presentation a few days ago, but if you did the calculation now with the current square root price, x96, it should give you exactly this number if you go through the same steps. And if we wanted to find the ratio from wrapped ether to Uniswap, the other way, it's as simple as inverting it, taking one over that ratio value. So the ratio from wrapped ether to the Uniswap token is 229.72. Let's compare this to the app. We'll change the top to wrapped ether and the bottom to uni, and we'll say one and that gives us 224.092. And if we were using the current square root ratio x96, our calculation would give us exactly this number. When you first look at this value, it seems like a crazy, incomprehensible big number, but the truth is there's some simple logic behind it. Give this video a like and subscribe if you found it helpful, and I'll see you next time.